Okay, so John, this is John's house. Um, John's just come back and he's bought the sultanas, which I actually forgot. So look at this. Take responsibility. Yeah, and this this is the thing. When you present a salad at a party, it's what it looks like is the most important. Full of ingredients that aren't too threatening for people. Mm -hmm. The most sort of mainstream cheese, tasty cheese. No one's threatened by it except if you're vegan, which for obvious reasons. But, you know, it's not feta cheese or camembert or cheese that people don't like. Normal cheese. <laughs> it's cheese. It's people always come in to get camembert, but I don't like it. Well, it's here we go. Yeah. So, so even the owner of the house. So, okay, so we've got simple ingredients, and the lettuce is cut in small pieces, so it's not too big and clunky. Mm -hmm. People don't want big and clunky. You have a sausage or a chop. This is a perfect salad for having a sausage or a chop. This salad, the Waldorf salad without walnuts, because I'm actually allergic to them, this is a different sort of salad. A little bit sweeter, it's got diced apple, it's got diced cheese, it's a much heavier salad, so that can almost be a meal in itself, maybe with something else. But um, we're going to put sultanas in that one. This one, there's the option of putting sultanas in. I might actually put sultanas across half of it, mm -hmm. because the sultanas are a bit, some people will want them in this, but a lot of people won't, so, you know, it's lime ball. Again, the apple could possibly have even gone in here too, but Big probably apple. not. Where do you stand um, on mushrooms? Are they a divisive... Um, I don't think mushrooms work well with meat in a salad. Cook, cooked mushrooms are lovely with meat. Mm -hmm. um, mushrooms in a salad I don't recommend. Because firstly, they're too, they're too big. You want small, oh, small yeah. things. Se dicing, Second, well, they don't look so good diced. That's the mm. thing, you know, they just look like pieces of whatever. But I, I generally think they're better cooked. But in a salad, I'd say no. Um, that's my personal preference. Yeah. But it's, again, it's what most people want. It's what, you, what it looks like, too, that's big. So here we go. We're going to put in some sultanas into this salad. Mm -hmm. We might actually put a few more than that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll need to put probably another two. What's in here? Hello, how are you going? Hello. Um, so we're going to put the last of the of the sultanas in here. Now, that actually, there's a can, can. Can you come here, please? <laughs> the zucchini slice would actually be what would be perfect with this um, with this Waldorf salad. Actually, the zucchini slice works well with it. My mother is actually a queen of zucchini slice. She loves making this stuff. So here we go. So we've got a Waldorf salad, and that'll be good with a zucchini slice. We've got our barbecue salad, which will be good with the sausages and chops, and all good. We've got it all sorted out, and we're going to have a nice party with some nice salad. And it looks like the party's getting started. And it does look like it, true. That's right. Anyway, thank you 